The photographers must leave by two minutes, please. Channel 1 for French, Channel 2 for English. Okay? okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the match number 20 of Total Africa Cup of Nations Egypt 2019. We have to get the floor for the two coaches to analyze the match. And first, we get the floor to uh, Mr. Manetti, and then to Mr. Baxter. Thank you. Is it, are we, is it uh, after 12? Oh yeah, good morning. <laughs> um, yeah, very tough one for Namibia to, to lose again, 1-0. Again, from a set piece. I think uh, if the games were played without set pieces, we would have stood a better chance but um, disappointed with uh, the result i think first half we had uh, opportunities we opened opened our opponent and uh, we couldn't capitalize in terms of our decision making it was very very we had um, we took wrong decisions in that last third um, second half i think uh, because we played the game at such a high tempo um, South Africa really became stronger and um, made it so difficult for us after, you know, stretching us and where your Percy Tau came in from the wing, it made, it made it very, very difficult for us. Um, I would have loved at least a draw, but unfortunately, uh, things didn't go that way. And congratulations to South Africa and to Coach Stewart Baxter. Thank you. Mr. Stewart? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I think the the coach's description of the game is pretty pretty accurate. I think the first half was a, an even affair, and both both teams made some poor decisions, and both teams played some decent football. But it was a very a very uh, com competitive game, and uh, I wasn't happy the way the way we were. Maybe a forced us to play in small areas and we weren't opening the game up so we made some changes at half time and and when we had more space and we could play through the lines and get more movement from the front players it was it was immediately better and uh, I was very pleased with the second half and obviously pleased that we could score a goal and and win the game because you know I was a game like that you you're just waiting for the your opponents to equalise. So I thought we were looking back. We were we were comfortable more or less the second half, but it was still a competitive game. And uh, I believe the coach has done a tremendous job in the two games that he's played. So congratulations, team, for that. And good luck in the last game. Thanks, sir. Please raise, raise your hand when you wanted to ask a question. Okay. Coach, congrats on the win. Um, the the first half quite quite mistake ridden, but I think second half the shape improved a lot. Finally, after he scored the goal, it looked like South Africa relaxed a bit. Is that encouraging going forward? Um, yeah, you know, at the risk of sounding negative, which I wouldn't want to do. Um, because, you know, to be accused of negative questions. But um, I think, yeah, it seems really encouraging. Morocco were unbelievable tonight. Can we, we might need a draw, but it's a totally different game against Morocco. Yeah, I think, I think we shouldn't underestimate the effect that, that the environment and the, and the pressure of 
the game tonight has on the players. In terms of, I saw some of our players in the first half playing a ball directly to a Namibian player. And uh, that's very unlike us. And that's, that's got nothing to do with our, with our psychology, really. It's, it's just to do with the gravity of the occasion, I think. And you're right, when we scored, I thought we were, I thought we were, we were putting some better attacks together and looking more dangerous, uh, even in the first half a couple of times, but we weren't opening the field well enough. So it was, tacti it was tactically where Namibia were, were forcing us to, to play in small spaces. And once we could open the game up, I thought we were much better and, and they had to work a lot harder. They had to look at, work a lot harder to keep us under control. And uh, yeah, after we'd scored, after we'd scored, maybe, maybe the possession improves a little bit because you've got a bit of a cushion, and maybe the, the, the quality of the front play just improves a touch, and, and so you become more efficient. Uh, the Morocco game is going to be an interesting one. I think looking at looking at what I saw of the game, so yes, they did play very well. Uh, but it's still 1-0, you know, it's still a close game. Every game in this group has been close. So I don't think that they'll be expecting an easy game and I hope we don't disappoint them. Sir, Andy, question, question. Wait, wait. Andy, question, question, Mr. Stewart Baxter. عايز اساله ان النهارده كان في اربع لاعبين مختلفين في التشكيل الاساسي عن المباراه الماضيه حارس المرمى وثلاثي وسط الملعب هل ده كان سبب ان الناميبيا كانت مسيطره شويه على الاداء في الشوط الاول كان عندهم فرص شبه اكتر شويه من منتخب جنوب افريقيا وهل هتستمر في التغييرات عدد كبير من اللعيبه في المباراه القادمه ام لا وسؤال لمستر ريكاردو الكل بيتحدث ان ناميبيا هيبقى لها دور في شكل المجموعه والصاعدين لكن حتى الان ده لسه لم يحصل لم يحدث حتى الان خساره مباراتين هل هتلعب المباراه القادمه بدوافع ان انت فعلا تقدر تغير المجموعه ولا ممكن تتخلى عن الحذر الدفاعي وتلعب بطريقه هجوميه وجيب مفتوح من اول المباراه شكرا شكرا مستر باكست We changed, we changed, we changed some players. Uh, Dean Furman was injured, so he couldn't play. And then we were really trying to balance our midfield by by selecting Klompo and Bongani. We didn't feel that Camo, especially having a game in his legs, was would would be a good foil for either of those. So we selected Klompo and Bongani for the midfield and and gave Camo a rest. Uh, Darren, we we decided before the, uh, the the Ivory Coast game that Darren would play this game. We thought that this game su would suit him. Uh, and Villa played after coming on, and I thought he did well when he came on against Ivory Coast. So we changed the shape a little bit, and, and especially in the second half, we moved Percy to a wider position. So he drove in from the wide position rather than being in the space alongside the striker, which he was a bit too much in the first half. So we selected the team because we thought that would be the, the best one for this opponent. <clears throat> and I can't, I can't promise I'm not going to change the team for the last game because the last game is going to be, a, it's going to be first of all, a tactical, a tactical duel. And it's also going to be one where we have to really, really work hard and maybe some fresh legs would be... Uh, would be a good choice. Yeah. Um, as for us on the Ivory Coast game, uh, obviously we will have to make a few changes. And uh, we, all I can say is that uh, we came to do better than uh, the previous two Afcons that we, in 2008 and 98, that is uh, to get that all important victory. I know it's, we, we've come close um, at times, but I'm positive that we can, um, you know, maybe uh, we'll be fortunate on Monday to get, to get a result against Ivory Coast. We, we, we're not disrespecting them by saying this, 
Um, but I think we very, very different uh, in terms of our uh, approach um, on Monday. So I'm, I'm positive and I really hope that we can get something out of that game. Um, Stuart, obviously there, there were a lot of positives to take from Lebu's performance up mm. front, uh, but he's, he's, he's still not off the mark yet. Um, just, you know, what, what, what are you saying to him with that, given that his holdout play has been good bringing others in, but mm. he's still not off the mark? And, and is there a specific role that you're asking uh, Percy to play? Because obviously he was a lot wider and he was man of the match, whereas the first game he himself admitted that he didn't quite follow the instruction to, to a T. Well, Lebo's role, Lebo's role to start with. I think we, we, have to, we have to remember that Lebo's a kid. You know, this is, a, this is a big tournament for Lebo. You know, this is his first big major tournament. He's, yes, he plays in France, but this is big for him. And I think sometimes Lebo feels, being South African, that he should do more with the ball than he actually does. And I'm trying to convince him to be what everybody else is not, you know. And yes, his hold-up play was great tonight and his movement was better. And we did play with him further on shoulders, starting there and then coming rather than him coming very early because he ran into Percy very often and it got a little bit messy. So that's why we played the way we played tonight with Percy wider, driving in to support Lebo. So... Lebo's role, I think Lebo's doing very well and this, this is a great experience for him. Uh, Percy, yeah, I think I've just said, he, he played in the first game and he was too close to Lebo and, and Ivory Coast are strong in the middle there. You know, so tonight we, we, we thought start there and drive inside and he was still getting in a little bit early, coming in from the right, so we changed him to the left and he stayed wider and he... He was more successful, and I think he played. He played really well tonight, person. So those two, those two play really well together when we get the balance right, and that's obviously what we we want to build on. Yeah. Thank you. Last two question. لدي سؤالان سؤال للمدرب ستيوارت وسؤال للمدرب مانيتي. مستر ستيوارت هل ساعدكم فوز المغرب اليوم وصول المغرب الى ست نقاط هل سيسهل من مهمه جنوب افريقيا في المباراه هل تعتقد انها ستساهم في تسهيل مهمه جنوب افريقيا في اللقاء القادم سؤالي للمدرب مانيتي رغم الخسارتين الا ان على الورق المنتخب ناميبيا ما زال ينافس هل ترى الحظوظ لازالت متاحة أمام ناميبيا لتأهل الدور القادم. شكرا. مستر باكستر. The we were trying to work out what would be the best result in the event of us winning tonight, uh, but we kept on trying to concentrate on our game. When we saw that Morocco had won. Yeah, there's a case for maybe now they're a little bit more relaxed. But maybe, maybe they were very nervous about qualification and relaxing is maybe not, not good for us because they relax and play more free. But without, without trying to second guess, I'm guessing that their coach is professional and their players are professional and they will be wanting to finish in the first position and they'll want to win the three games and then and and do it so we're going to have to play well we're going to have to find a game plan and uh, we know there's going to be a, it's going to be a tough game but we feel that we feel that with the confidence of the game in our legs tonight then we get a little bit of a free hit at them so yeah we're not going to play for a draw thank you Yes, I think it's, uh, this result made it a little bit difficult for us. Um, so we're just going to concentrate to look for that uh, all-important win at uh, this AFCON. Um, obviously, it's going to be crunch time on, on Monday with uh, these two games. Uh, and like the coach rightly said, 
Morocco would want to get the nine points. South Africa would want to get to that six points. And um, obviously, Ivory Coast very disappointed with tonight's result. Um, they're going to come out. We're going to look for a win. So um, it's going to be an interesting one on Monday. But let's see how it goes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, coach. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, I'll hang in there. Yeah, thanks, man.